Many people face challenges in building concentrator systems. In the video you are watching now, a very simple method is introduced, with which you can make all kinds of symmetrical concentrators. Concentrators such as radio, solar and acoustic spherical dishes and all types of parabolic dishes and all 3D symmetrical curves. I hope this video is useful for you. Your decision to join this channel conveys clean energy information and I am proud of your decision. Thank you for liking and subscribing to the video. Regards, Ebrahim Hashemi. Greetings to all dear people, those interested in clean energy, welcome to your program. I am Ebrahim Hashemi and this is another episode of Fix Focus Programs. In this part, we want to discuss a simple method for making all kinds of symmetrical dishes. In this method, it is possible to make all kinds of spherical and parabolic dishes and circular paraboloid. In this simple method, you can make all symmetrical dishes like all the ones you see in the picture. These types of dishes include satellite dishes, solar dishes, and sound dishes. But in this program, we will make a spherical dish for the convenience of work. In this method, depending on the size of the dish, we need a flat surface. And we draw a circle using a wooden board that we marked and drilled the desired radius of the dish. And draw this circle on a flat surface and draw the required part of the dish on a sheet like this sheet. However, this sheet is thin and not suitable for large dishes. And to make big dishes, use metal sheet and weld its length with a plain steel angle. And this causes the strength of the sheet. Here I am drawing a circle with the same stick that I have previously drilled according to the desired radius. At the bottom of the whiteboard, I have put a screw as the center. The hole on the wood is the desired radius. A hole in the center of the circle. And in the other hole, I draw a piece of the circle with a whiteboard marker. Now we draw the necessary amount of circle on the plastic sheet that is set. The plane must be exactly perpendicular to the vertical radius of the circle. Draw a circle again on the plastic sheet and this circle is the cross-sectional area of a dish that is cut in half in the middle. Of course, it is easier to draw this circle on a smooth surface. And this circle must be cut. I have used a printed circuit board before that was not usable. And I cut the desired circle and then sanded it. This printed circuit board is made of fiberglass and is very strong and it has come to this form. After this we need a base. For the base, I used a pipe and welded it to a metal plate. On both sides of the pipe, I placed two bearings. I marked exactly the center of the page which is perfectly symmetrical. 
Now I have prepared a piece of smooth rebar whose diameter is exactly the size of the opening of the bearing and I have made a gap on one side of it. And I placed this gap in the middle of the screen. And we put two screws on the bar and plate so that it is completely fixed. For large plates you can use metal pipes. Now I pass the rebar inside the two bearings. And you can see that it can rotate easily and below the part of the circle should be filled with plaster. And by rotating the plate, the spherical shape can be transferred to the plaster. In the picture you see, you can see the drawing method on the plastic sheet. And the cut plate that we sanded is connected to the base. You can implement various shapes on the page, for example, the vertex of an ellipse or a sine curve or a quadratic curve. Of course, since we want to prepare a spherical dish, I use another method. Of course, the method of using the page will be easier for everyone and the choice is yours. Well, let's go for the second method. As I said, the method of using the sheet is easier for everyone and can be used for any shape. Well, I'm taking this out and we have nothing to do with it. In the second method, I have used a light metal pipe and bent it with a bending machine. And according to the radius that I have given, they have bent it for me and I have drilled a hole in its center. I have sanded the bottom of the pipe thoroughly with soft sandpaper so that it has less friction with the plaster. We can apply a little oil under the pipe to reduce friction. Now I pass a long bolt through the bearing tube. I will place the washer below. I pass a small tube through the screw to adjust the height. Now I put the pipe on it and close the screw. We can tighten the screw or continue our work without tightening the screw. And you can see how easily it turns. The important thing is that our plaster takes the form of the mold. For large dishes, you can also choose a larger radius. Like this iron can which is bent with a radius of one and a half meters and we have to make a hole in the middle. And you can make a solar dish with an area of two square meters with it. Another method that can be used for the support of the bent pipe is to use a strong structure on top of the pipe. In fact, a strong support from above holds the bent pipe. As in the figure you see. And this support should not have any kind of movement or vibration. Well, let's go to the next step, which is the step of pouring plaster. Here I spread a plastic on the table. Now I will open the screw again. In order to reduce the amount of plaster used.
I prepared some foam and will put it under the bent pipe. If you are planning to make a dish, make sure to fill this space because the consumption of plaster will be very high. Now I put a plastic on them so that the foams can be easily removed from the plaster. Now we put the bent pipe back in its place. I will increase the speed of the film 5 times during the plastering stage so that your time will not be taken up.
Now the mold is dry and I did the points that needed to be repaired. If you look at the back of the mold, the place of the foams is clear. We can use this mold to make a satellite dish. It is enough to use pieces of metal sheets. If you use metal sheets, just place them one after the other on the mold. Of course, we can also use metal mesh. If the frequency of radio waves is high, the metal mesh hole should be small and vice versa. Because our program is related to clean energy. So we use this mold to make solar dish. Aluminum sheets can also be used to make a solar dish. Or special silver sheets. Here, I have cut a piece of aluminum protective sheet in the shape of a triangle. And they can be placed on the mold like this and cover the whole mold. The sheet can be placed directly on the mold and cut from the center down in several directions. Aluminum and silver sheets are easy to install, but these sheets are not very durable. I have prepared a specific number of square mirrors with a thickness of 2 mm and a dimension of 2.5 cm. The mirrors have good reflection and long life, and I have more confidence in them. So we make the solar dish with these mirrors. The cutting of the mirrors must be accurate and the same size, and the method of cutting the mirrors is shown in the video above. Because the mirrors are square, it is easier to have a square dish. And if the mold is round, a large number of mirrors must be cut round, which is a difficult task. So I take one part of the mold as a square and glue four foam pieces. Well, now the foams are well attached. And I want to arrange the mirror pieces inside this square. Because I want to use fiberglass resin on the back of the mirrors. This resin penetrates under the mirrors and it will be impossible to clean them. One way is to put a thin plastic sheet over the mold. And on the plastic, use a polar adhesive to fill the space between the plastic and the mirror. And there will be no more room for resin to penetrate. A new way that came to my mind and I want to use it for the first time is to use grease. I hope you will answer and there will be no problem. Grease fills the space between the mold and the mirror and leaves no room for the resin to penetrate. And then it can be cleaned with gasoline.
Now we put the mirror pieces together in order. Now the work of arranging the mirrors is finished. I covered the edges with smaller mirrors. In this method, if you are careful enough, you can make very accurate dishes. The smaller the mirrors used, the greater the focal accuracy. And even with a dish with an area of one square meter, a focal heat of more than a thousand degrees Celsius can be created. I use a metal L to connect the dish to the outer structure. And I place it in the center and behind the mirrors. You can use any piece. Well, I cut a piece of fiberglass needle mat and I passed the metal L in the middle of it. Now I will prepare the fiberglass and pour it. A brief explanation about fiberglass is mentioned in the video above. Well, I mix the resin and pour it. Now, I poured the first layer and for this small area, this one layer is enough. We assume that the dish is big and pour the second layer. Half an hour is enough for the first layer to take. Now the resin is dry. If you want to prepare dishes with an area of 1 meter or more with this method. Use rebars with the right diameter to strengthen the work and place them in order.
and perform the second stage of fiberglass on them. In this case, the strength of the dish is multiplied. Let's go for the second stage resin. Well, the second stage of the resin is finished. And for this small level the second step was not necessary. The complete drying time of the resin depends on the ambient temperature, resin thickness and air exchange. And with these conditions, it takes more than 10 hours for the resin to dry. So we don't remove the mold until 10 hours later. Now more than 10 hours have passed since molding and you can see how solid it is. I hope that the grease has worked and the resin under the mirrors has not penetrated. Well, I am trying to remove the mold from the plaster. Finally, the mold was separated and it seems that the resin was not placed on the mirrors. I clean the grease with gasoline. A better way is to spread a plastic over the plaster mold. And apply the grease on it and then start the work. Well, I cleaned the dish with gasoline and then with detergent. And its foams are still wet. Unfortunately, a small amount of resin has penetrated the mirrors. and I should have applied the grease on the surface with more thickness. But the use of grease was a very good idea and made the work easier. The diameter of the plaster mold is 90 centimeters, so the focal distance of the dish will be 22.5 centimeters. Well, let's go to test the solar dish in front of the sunlight. I have attached a piece of cardboard to the end of a wire. I focused the center on the cardboard.
you can see that the cardboard is burnt and perforated. We saw the solar dish test in front of the sunlight. How do you think it was? If I had used 1 cm mirrors instead of 2.5 cm mirrors, the power of focal concentration was almost 6 times. Therefore, the smaller the mirrors, the higher the focal focus and the higher the focal temperature. If you want to make a satellite dish with this template. Before pouring the resin, place 4 metal plates on the 4 sides of the square. and place the LNB bases on it. This type of dish is very durable and does not weigh much. For the surface of the satellite dish, you can use galvanized sheet and paint it. And it is better to use aluminum sheet. The important thing is that there is no problem if the plaster mold surface has small holes. Because mirrors cover that surface. But the protrusion on the mold surface causes the mirror piece to be raised. Therefore, we must remove all the bumps. I will say again that you can do a lot of things with this method. You can even make a paraboloid spotlight. And any shape that has symmetry can be done. The last point is that, do all the relevant calculations before starting the work. And be careful in your work. I hope this program was useful for you. Goodbye until next program.